We're less than a month away from the first votes in the presidential primaries, and this election, the U.S. Supreme Court could end up playing a pivotal role. The state of Colorado kicked Donald Trump off the ballot for the primary, and more states could follow suit unless the Supreme Court puts an end to this. Fox 10's Mark Martinez joins us now with more. Yeah, in the past, Trump has used his legal troubles to rally his supporters, but with this ruling, it still remains to be seen how this will impact voters. Can he or can he not run for president? It's become the biggest question mark for the 2024 race for the White House. The poll numbers are scary because we're leading by so much. But whether Trump's name is actually on the state's primary ballot will likely be up to the U.S. Supreme Court after judges in Colorado ruled to remove him because of his involvement in the January 6th protests. Is Trump an insurrectionist, sir? Well, I think it's certainly self-evident. He certainly supported an insurrection. No question about it. Trump's candidacy faces lawsuits in at least 15 other states trying to invoke the 14th Amendment, which says, quote, no one can run for office who has previously taken an oath to support the Constitution and engaged in insurrection or rebellion. I don't have much question they will overturn this decision, but they should do it unanimously. I think liberals understand that, you know, even though they, you know, politically oppose former President Trump, that this isn't exactly the way that the Constitution envisioned it playing out. And with all his other legal issues, this likely won't be the only time the highest court is called to weigh in, though some voters say they want the final decision. You should be able to vote for whoever you want to vote for. He's not qualified to run. Now, the last time the Supreme Court was pivotal in a presidential election was back in the year 2000 in Bush versus Gore when it ended the Florida recount and those efforts gave George W. Bush the White House. Reporting in studio, Mark Martinez, Fox 10 News. Mark, thank you.